Hey, Kyozo. As you may have guessed from the subtle clue of Avix's post explicitly telling you, I'm your secret Santa for this year. And that's an extremely lucky thing, because this is a very important matter that needs attending to you right away. You've been working for a while now on a mod called Tides of Fate, and while it's okay, people have recently been clamoring for something a bit more. Something like Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Tides, Tides of Fate. Fate. So this is where I step in. I know you're busy with Tides of Fate, so I'll take the time myself to outline this wonderful game so that everybody can get what they are so eagerly looking forward to. I've broken up this video a bit so that we can more easily digest the awesomeness that is to come. Let's -a go! Okay, so what better place to start discussing the storyline than my totally original new character, Lamza? Here's a picture of him, and while he may look a bit like Ramza, that's because he's Ramza's son. Since my favorite shipping pair is Ramzalgus, Lamza is their son, but don't worry as the green shirt makes him totally different from Ramza. Any inconsistencies in the plot are, that are caused by this are obviously resolved by black mages, because they know magic. Now for the plot. I've decided we need more cyberpunk in this setting, so essentially the plot is that aliens will invade. Sephiroth is the leader of the aliens, and he's using the power of Meteor, just like in my favorite game, Final Fantasy VII. Sephiroth also has tentacles because he's an alien this time. However, Lamza is going on an epic quest to stop him, which involves gathering power from four crystals of the elements, because that sounds like a really creative idea. Along the way, Lamza meets an amazing person named LK. Despite the fact that Lamza is the main character, LK is much more powerful and has much more bearing on the plot. Also, it wouldn't be called Tides of Faith without religious subtext, so you also find out that LK is Jesus. Then when you get to the end of the game, LK has an epic one-on-one -on -one showdown with Sephiroth where they both transform like Dragon Ball Z characters. In fact, they could even transform into the actual Dragon Ball Z characters, so Sephiroth can be Vegeta and LK could be Goku. After that amazing showdown, they all go back down to Earth and have a party where all the ID members are and everybody bows down to LK's awesomeness. The end. Alright Kyozo, so here's where we see some of the most important changes. First off, monks definitely need a power boost. Otherwise, getting past places like Door 2 is too difficult, even for insane difficulty. I propose that we give monks mass skill, yell, and flare, as well as boosting all their other stats, of course. When LK is a monk, he gets the move Super Flare, which insta-kills all enemies that it hits and is completely unblockable. Also, in place of the uninteresting CT gauges, I propose Active Mode, where all characters on the screen can attack while you're in the menus. This will make the game more dynamic and interesting. In the immortal words of a wise, wise scholar, there's no difference besides worthy guesstimates and assurances for those without faith besides hope, which is one of the few aspects that makes this game remain fun, and that is why FFT should be an active game. Finally, my plan for your mod is that instead of modding FFT, we start with Brave New World as a base ROM. Though you are quite capable of modding FFT, of course, I haven't played enough FFT to make very good suggestions, but I can if we start at Brave New World. I bet that Sinkizzy could quickly whip up some ASM for you that would convert Brave New World to a tactics game, so it would be pretty easy. All he'd need to do is make it so that you can move around the field during battle, and he'd also need to add in some different battle areas too, and it would be pretty much be FFT. Because it is also now like Brave New World, I can give more inputs, so my grand suggestion is to make it possible to revive General Leo, because he's the only one who could be as cool as LK and Sephiroth. With that one suggestion, you'd have a perfect mod, so starting at Brave New World is a great choice. Oh, and yeah, don't forget to add fighting game elements for the final battle. Can't have a Goku vs. Vegeta fight without him. So Kyozo, for music I'm gonna recommend mostly things from YouTube. Any music video with a lot of views must be good, or people wouldn't have watched it. Music this good really just speaks for itself, so I'll stop talking and give a taste of what it will be like in an FFT style game. Live Delita. Now to 
Walked up to a lemonade stand and he said to the man running the stand, Hey, bum bum bum, got any grapes? The man said, No, we just sell lemonade, but it's cold and it's fresh and it's all homemade. Since graphics are the most important part of any game, I recommend spending a great deal of time on them. In particular, LK should at least get a 3D model in HD, even if the rest of the game is 2D sprites. But personally, I'm hoping you'll figure out how to do PS4 graphics on the SNES hardware, as this will make our game a lot better. Good luck, Kyozo! So, Kyozo, I'm glad I was able to help you so much in this extremely important way. As much as I did this just to be a good person, make sure to credit me as the creator of the hack. Don't worry though, you can be the co-creator. Oh, and don't forget to credit Sinkizzy as well for minor ASM. Have fun making this dream a reality. <laughs>